All right, here we go, Wax TV, and we are back uh, this time with a four sharp corners order. But before we get into that, I want to talk about uh, these two cards that are on display right there. Of course, it is the uh, 2018 Tops Update Ronald Acuna Jr. A rookie card, and this is, um, of course, the bat up version. And it was uh, just crazy. This is been a literally been a, a stock market uh, with this card and and a few other cards uh the ballinger update rookie as well as the yalich update rookie the keston hira i mean one week it's selling for 35 dollars, and then the next week it's going for um you know about 140 so um yeah it's just uh this card though last week it got up to three hundred dollars. All the low, all the recent eBay sold listings were at three hundred dollars in a PSA ten, and the PSA nine was selling for about eighty in a um, last week. Of course, this pandemic hits, and then <laughs> just today I was looking at the sales. It's crazy how uh, what's going on in the world can just affect cards the way it does. Um, the ten, I've seen some sales today for one fifty. That was, there's just nothing, nothing that, that can describe that. 150 and uh, that PSA 9 is selling for uh, 40 about between 40 and $50 on the uh, eBay recent sold listings. So yeah, it's crazy how uh, these cards can just drop overnight. But that being said, you know, don't panic. We're all going to get through this and I believe these two cards are going to go right back uh right back up I, I don't believe they've reached their peak um i believe once this is all over and the season gets underway uh, gets going uh we're gonna see that gem mid 10 back over 300 dollars and that psa 9 um you know up in the 80s and 90s so uh yep definitely hanging on to these two and just so it's just gonna be fun to see what what unfolds for these cards over the next month or two so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share a four sharp corners order that uh, I purchased that arrived uh, just the other day. Now, what I did was I spent $66 and I want you guys to tell me your opinion on this. I spent $66 and 17 cents. I decided to do a, a four sharp corner order rather than and if you're not familiar with four sharp corners uh, check them out four sharp corners.com you can uh, everything on that website is slabbed uh, mostly psa and you just get the best deals yeah even cheaper than ebay <clears throat> and it was only four dollars to get all of this stuff shipped so I, I i had a decision to make okay do i go you know I, I like breaking retail so do i go and buy about three blaster boxes, which is going to cost about sixty-five dollars after taxes. Or do I do I make a better investment? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get sixty-five dollars of value out of three blaster boxes, unless I hit some crazy rare autograph or a once-in-a-lifetime hit. So I decided to go with option B. And tell me what you guys. Uh, once this is over, I want you to. I want you guys to let me know. Um, how how you felt I did uh, with this order, and if I you feel personally I would have had better value out of buying some retail. So the first card I uh, is the 1993 tops Kirby Puckett. Okay, now as a kid I loved this card. I used to always just get a I just crack up every time I would pull this card out of a pack of 93 tops. This one's in a mint nine, light house holder, looks great, $4.39. It's just, just a, a great deal. Next card up is the, the 94 Upper Deck Alex Rodriguez, Star Rookie. This is in a near mint to mint eight. Now, I paid, uh, let's see, what, where is he at? $5.39. For a, for a near mint to mint eight. Every card in this order costs pretty much less than the cost of the average slab, which is uh, $10 and up, unless you have some um, some bulk order uh, membership where they, I'm not sure if it's $5 or however much they charge, but the average person pays between 10 and $11 to get their card slabbed in, in whatever group they're in. 
Okay, so all of these cards are either Hall of Famers or should be Hall of Famers. And in my opinion, Alex Rodriguez should be a Hall of Famer. He made some mistakes, but uh, for what he's doing as a broadcaster, and uh, he's just he, he's gaining uh, the respect from from the people who have lost it for him throughout the years uh, since his steroid scandal. So I, I, I believe he'll be a Hall of Famer one day. Next one is an, another card that has been gaining some popularity is the 87 Don Russ. Barry Bonds, rookie card, near mint to mint eight. And for this one, I paid $5.39. Uh, again, you, you just can't go wrong. $5.39 for a Barry Bonds. I, I mean, it's just an iconic rookie card of him. $5.39. I felt that was an awesome deal. And next, uh, next card I purchased... And uh, this is the 1993 Don Russ, uh, Chipper Jones rated rookie. This is in a near mint to mint eight. And I paid $5.29 for this one. Just a sweet looking card if you ask me. It's a rated rookie. It's a Hall of Famer. $5.39. And it's in a near mint to mint eight. It's a tough set. Love the card. Love Chipper Jones. And I just couldn't pass up on that deal. And then next up, we have a 1987, let's bring that up here, Fleer update. 1987 Fleer update, Greg Maddox rookie card in a near mint to mint eight. And in this particular card, where we had, I paid $5.39 for this one as well. This is um, yeah, Greg Maddox, one of my all-time favorites. And this is one of my favorite rookie cards of his. The, you know, there's the rated rookie that's out there. There's also the tops traded, but I like this one. This is the 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 flare update rookie. That's my favorite one. Love that card. And then I picked up this one, the 1991 Stadium Club Jeff Bagwell rookie card in a mint nine. And this one was a little bit more, a little bit more expensive, $7.82. But for that card in a mint nine, that's a great deal right there. I love the photo. I love the old school uniform, Hall of Famer. And just, man, looking at this card, it's almost perfect. Can't figure why I got a 10, but I, I don't plan on selling this card. This is definitely a PC card for years to come. I'm just going to hang on to that, see what happens with it. And the next card I picked up was the, the 1992 Bowman Pedro Martinez rookie card. This is another set that's um, just iconic. That one's in a near mint to mint eight, and I paid $7.19 for that. And this is a particular card that I'm going to be picking up anytime I can find it. In a nine, I, um, all day, I will, an eight or a nine, all day, I will pay um, under $10 for it. So that one's in an eight. I also picked up the same thing. Got picked up the same card again. And this one's in a mint nine. And for this one, I paid $9.56 for. So a couple dollars difference, but uh, this is a card that I, I really believe will take off in the future. And I'm gonna. Uh, I don't have a ten yet, but I'm going to be um, trying to find a ten uh, at, at a good deal. I've been seeing them um, for about fifty dollars, but which, to be honest with you, I think that's a complete steal. Uh, fifty dollars for that card and a PSA ten. Uh, but I'm gonna uh, continue trying to win some bids and get it a little lower. And uh, you know, worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna pay the fifty for the ten. Uh, you know, not being cheap, just being smart, just trying to get some, uh, you know, value out of the purchases that I make. Now, um, the next card up is the 2011 Topps Chrome Mariano Rivera Refractor. And for that one, I paid $6.76 for it. It's a near, it's a near mint to mint eight, but look at that shine. Uh, it's 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 an iconic set, uh, not the chrome, but the the base set because of course because of the Mike Trout rookie card and just about everybody else that's in that set. But look at that shine, amazing shine, and 
for six dollars and seventy six cents you can't go wrong with that i I think you'd be a, a fool not to uh pick that up, but it's just a cool card of a hall of famer and um yeah, I just love the shine on that and for a pretty uh pretty good price and the last card I picked up in this order is um my favorite card in this order and i've never seen this card until i was uh searching for uh mariano rivera cards on for uh, four sharp corners dot com and it's the 1998 upper deck mariano rivera and this is in a gem mint 10 um and for this card i paid where are we at rivera i paid eight dollars and 99 cents for it I love the card. Never seen it before. Some people aren't too crazy about, uh, you know, photography with them outside of their uniform. But I love it. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of that Bowman set. I, I love how you can look back at those cards and just get a kick out of the, the fashion uh, statements that these players were making. But a 98 Upper Deck Mariano Rivera in a gem mint tan, $8.99. Love that card. Pretty much all of these are PC cards and they're not going anywhere. Uh, sixty-six dollars and seventeen cents. Uh, that's what I paid for all of this. Pretty much, that's what you can get um, from four sharp uh, four sharp corners dot com. Uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, would I have been better off buying retail, buying three blaster boxes, and you know, hopefully getting a Jordan Alvarez that books at about five to eight dollars right now, and Gavin Lux the same. You know, it's just I just felt. I'm going to get more enjoyment out of this. This is the I'm going to hit nothing but PC cards by by just buying what I want. They're already slabbed so I, that you know that saves time and money. So um yeah, it's just a a, a I think I I feel I made out great with the decision I made. Uh let me know what you guys thought. Until then, this has been Wax TV. Uh help me out in growing this channel. Uh like Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Tell me what you loved about this video. Tell me what you hated. Tell me what your favorite card was in this order. Until next time, Wax TV, we're out.